Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to show you how you can turn Lubuntu 10.04 into a Ubuntu 10.04 from the theme perspective only. So the first thing that we will do is change the default panel. So Ubuntu 10.04 has a two panel laid out. So we will move this button main panel to the top. Create, uh, we click on the panel, right click, panel settings, choose position top and make sure that the height is 24 and you can change the appearance to system theme uh, I will show you why this is important later on now we have to remove some panel applets we go to the panel applets section we remove the minimize all windows we will remove the desktop pager and we will remove the taskbar window list. Now we will click on stretch one of these bases here. So as you can see we have the um, clock on the right again with the tray and the logout button. That's all for this panel. Click close. Then cl right click on the panel to create a new panel. This will be created automatically on the bottom make sure it also has a height about 24 pixels then add some panel applets the first one we want to add is the minimize all windows the second one will be the taskbar and the third one will be the desktop pager so this is all for this panel so we have now our, our panel system ready to go. Now we have to install the ambience Ubuntu theme. We go to the menu, system preferences, synaptic package manager and we will then search for light theme. This light theme will not only install the ambient theme but also the icon theme, humanity icon theme, so that we now then have everything in place just like it should be. Just after the installation go to the menu, choose preferences, choose appearance. Here you can now choose ambient theme and in the icon theme you can choose Ubuntu Mono Dark. Hit apply and now you can see that it looks a little bit broken. I don't know if it's a bug or something but the only thing that I experienced is just restart or re-log on to your system and everything then looks okay. So I will do this uh, right now and then we will go on further. So after re-log on everything should look fine. If it doesn't, then just go to the panel settings and rearrange it to the left and then to the top and then it should look uh, better. If it does not work in either way, then just simply um, make a screenshot with a print key and then simply with an image editor like GIMP uh, cut out the part that looks good, that looks fine the buff one here, 24 pixels, remember it? and just simply create a new PNG icon save it somewhere and set it as in background just like I did it for my panel appearance image so the next thing that we need to do is just change the time color so go to the panel settings go to appearance and then font color change it to white and now you can see the time so this is almost everything's done but we need to do a little more tweaking as you can see the window has the old buttons here so we need to change this go to your browser and as you can see I already downloaded the chromium um, ambience theme First of all I will show you how to do this. Go to the extensions, 
browse the gallery and search for ambience and there you find the ambience theme just hit install and it then will be automatically applied the next thing that you need to do is go to the options and choose use system title bar and borders so it will use the system title bar and borders the next thing that we need to do is change the borders and therefore we go on to the website box minus log look dot org search for ambience and here we can find the ambience car linux open box theme just download it download it wait three seconds hit on the link and then just simply another download on this link it will download a file just double click it and it will aut automatically be installed and applied and as you can see I have now my new theme applied my new borders and it looks then pretty cool on the Chrome browser as well what what I need to do next is change the order of my close um, maximize and iconify icon if I want to the default look is uh, that you will have the close button on the right the iconify button and the maximize button and that you don't have an icon for file manager or other program so I think this looks pretty cool the next thing that we need to do is go to our browser search for Ubuntu wallpapers launchpad it's the third thing that Google will list here click on it launchpad.net slash Ubuntu minus wallpapers go to the Ubuntu wallpaper source package and list it then just simply download the targz file it's about 3.9 megabytes I already did this extract it and there you will find there's the Wati final Ubuntu PNG that's the default background for Ubuntu 10.04 close this go to the desktop preferences change the wallpaper to my downloaded what you funnel Ubuntu PNG open it up and there we have it this looks pretty cool doesn't it but there are some minor tweaks to do um, yet so the button needs to change you can create your own button if you want to I already did this uh, by right clicking and go to the menu setting I can then apply my new button logo I will attach the button to my post so that you can then easily use my button um, just apply the button there you have it an applications button with an LXD logo looks pretty nice doesn't it so the next thing the last thing but last but not least we want to change the look and feel of our terminal so we go to the Alex terminal as you can see we have this black and grayish foreground color and the black background color but Ubuntu 10.04 has a uh, violet pinkish background color and a an white foreground color so we we'll change this go to the preferences here and I already did write up the HTML code for the background color I will also post this of course just paste it here hit OK now I have the background color, the foreground color just simply set it to white and yeah you can set cursor blinks if you want to hit OK and there you have a nice good looking Ubuntu-ish terminal so this is my screencast for this transversion of Lubuntu 10.04 into the Ubuntu 10.04 look I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching